Oscar, if you're still in there, listen to my voice. This is not you. Please let me help you. All I hear is the grunting of a swine. Come closer so I can rip out your filthy tongue. Stop this. I love you, Oscar. And I know you love me. It's your gold I love, Hogwife. But all the riches in Faerun would not be enough to make a life with you worth living. Oh, gods, aid me. He does not mean the things he says. You! Help subdue him, but be gentle. He's not to blame. I'm ungrateful for your help, but... Wait. Your face is familiar to me. Yes, I've seen it before in Oscar's sketches. You're the one who saved him from the Zentarim. I used to be. Now I'm his wife. We married not a ten day ago. Things have changed rather a lot since then. Had I known this would happen, I... Oh, who am I kidding? I'd still have married him. Yes, I suppose I love him entirely. You should have seen him on our wedding day. So vibrant, so alive. He couldn't have been happier. Not long after the wedding, he lost his appetite, fell into dark moods. He started to avoid my company entirely. Artistic temperament, I thought, but it worsened. He became violent. Called me some rather imaginative names. I hesitate to say it. Something unnatural has taken hold of him. Oscar has been possessed. The last time I left this room, the walls started bleeding, and a portrait of my mother tried to bite me. Flying furniture and screaming portraits I could deal with. But to see my husband reduced to such a state... I can't come within arm's reach without him trying to strangle me. And he calls me such vile things. It hates everyone, but it loathes me. It's not him. I know he would never hurt me. And I promised I would let no harm come to him. As you can see, I've already failed. It's obvious he needs more help than I can give. Please, you saved him once. You must find a way to cure him. Oscar's behavior began to change shortly after the wedding. He became withdrawn, working obsessively up in his atelier. I tried to take him some food, but I couldn't cross the threshold. It was as though the house itself didn't want me up there. Whatever this thing is, it doesn't want anyone going up there. I swear, it's in the walls. Watching. That might be worth a look. has depth and meaning. This painter really took the lesson to heart. Take the piggy bank, bitch! 
Portrait is ice cold to the touch, filling you with a sense of overwhelming dread. Why is the woman smiling? Please, Carrie, my darling, listen to me. You brought me here. You did this. Do not interfere. He's coming home with me. Another one who wants to control me. He called me here. Trapped me little childish boy I only wished to explain myself to make you see how no enough of your whining enough selfish arrogant bastard of an artist I wanted to be left in peace and how does that help me or is it just to help him? Why does everything always have to revolve around Oscar Feverus? Oh, my sweet Carrie. What did I do to you? Save your tears for the ethereal play. To confuse me it's so hard to think I don't remember Kerry my sweet meat I, I just need to know that what you did that it wasn't my fault why am I here I shouldn't be here I shouldn't be the spirit's aura flickers changes she is confused lost Dragged here unwillingly by a man who refused to let her leave. Fine. If Oscar wants the truth. He can have it. We were a fling, nothing more. My decision had nothing to do with him. I did this because I was so fucking sad. All the time. Oscar finds it easier to imagine a world where women kill themselves over him than one where they have their own bloody problems. I'm sorry, Kerry. I had no idea, but I, I was truly not to blame. No, you weren't. So you and your poxy paintings stay away from me. We're done, Oscar. Over. Now let me rest in bloody peace. Gods, what a mess I've made of it all. My sweet Ferelia. 
I've been a rotten fool, haven't I? And yet you never left my side. It will take more than a ghost to scare me away. Though I wish you'd come to me sooner. I... I'd like to stay. I, I confess I never felt ours was a marriage of substance. I rather thought you just liked me for my art. Throughout my ordeal, I saw how tenderly you cared for me. Even at my worst, you never left my side. Truly, you were the one who saved me. I'm so sorry, my darling. Please, before you go, I must pay you back. Come upstairs to my atelier. I promise you'll leave with something priceless. Immortality. Time for a so, first you save my husband, then you save our marriage. I can't tell you how grateful I am. I'm afraid when one falls in love with an artist, such drama comes with the territory. Needless to say, Oscar won't be having anything more to do with the supernatural. One possession is quite enough for any marriage. You must take up his offer. Go to his atelier, sit for him. Then perhaps you will understand what I see in him, flawed as he is. Hero of the hour! Brushes are oiled, the canvas prepped, and you... Well, you're comfortable. That's the main thing. So, shall we begin? Wonderful. Stand yourself just there. And... And voila! <sighs> All it needs now is a name. Something to capture the spirit in which it was created. Heroic and modest, then this shall be simply the hero of Baldur's Gate. A title I don't doubt you'll earn in due course. Please, take it in for a moment. It's not every day one's face is preserved for posterity. See what I can do. Don't linger. A quick rummage.
symbol. Gods, what a mess I've made of it all. My love, sweet Ferelia, I can explain everything. I don't want to hear it. You nearly got us killed. Oh, gods, I'll be a laughing stock when this comes out. But my love, I did it for us. How else was I to put her behind me? My friend here can vouch for me. For how seriously I took our marriage. I think we're done here. I want you gone from this house by nightfall. If being married to me is so awful, then you can bloody well fend for yourself. I understand, Ferelia, and truly, I am sorry. You may as well have this. Consider it payment for allowing me to see the truth at last. Time for a chat. Yes, what is it? Of course I bloody did. <sighs> I'm done with him and this whole sorry business. Now please, I have a house to get back in order. Ah! Oh. 
my friend! I'm sorry I dragged you into this unpleasantness. Hardly the way I had hoped we would be reunited. But a true artist embraces his suffering. No doubt I'll be the finer painter for it. Eventually. And one day you shall have it. But I feel this particular phase of my artistic career has come to an unnatural conclusion, if you will. I'm going to take some time and reinvent myself, find a new source of inspiration. I think I'll try my hand at landscape painting. I've heard that Schult Peninsula has the most splendid sunsets. Remember the name, Oscar Fevras. It will be back on society's lips in no time. Your actions have not gone unnoticed. If they persist, it seems they will not go unpunished. started a panic. Word of your actions is about to spread.